Greetings, saints. Um, I'd like to give honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'd like to thank him for blessing me with the Holy Ghost. And he brought it to my heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's just, thank you, Lord. it's funny how the Lord works. I remember being in prayer and thinking about what song I wanted to sing. And the lyrics came to my mind. And then Brother Jonathan, he ended up singing it. I ended up thinking that, oh, yeah, I'm, gonna th I'm saying, oh, magnify the Lord. But then he's like, no, I want you to sing majesty. And then but as I was sitting there, Sister Jewel, she came up and she started singing, soon and very soon, yeah. going to see the king. And then when Brother Jesse was testifying, I was just thinking about it would be good to have a prayer for Mother Jackson. And then lo and behold, oh, the butler stood up and he put a prayer right there. And he brought my mom back to yesterday when Sister Eric and I were praying in the church. And we were, we were going to cut it short. But like he just kept moving on us. He wanted that full hour. Amen. And he brought it to my mind. He said, prayer is a powerful thing. This yes, is my house. This is yes, the house of prayer. Yes, it is. And he made me remember that, you know, I was moving with you and Sister Erica, and it was only two of you. Mm -hmm. Imagine what it would yeah, be like if God gave that four yeah, hours for an entire week. Thank you, Lord. And he Thank you, Lord. told me Thank you, that this Thank week, you, Lord, we should make it a practice of coming out to the church and praying from one accord. There's truly power in that. We have saints who are sick repeatedly. But think about the times when we come to church and we don't really pray together as we should. Yes. We we drag in, we don't sit together and truly pray. And you know, that second service, which we couldn't have because of the storm, we didn't have that prayer. Yes. And the Lord just brought it to my mind. This is my house, it's the house of prayer. This is where miracles can happen. Yes. But when we don't work on one accord and we don't mm -hmm. cry out to him, I remember when I was first seeking the Holy Ghost, I remember every New Year's I would cry. I'd be so heartbroken because I wanted the Holy Ghost and the Lord. He wouldn't move on me. And I thought there was something wrong with me. But then he worked on me. Yes. It started out with what Sister Clarissa said. She wanted to learn how to fast, do the half um, fast, try and work up. Just try and be sincere in your efforts. I remember when I was here growing up, I would be so afraid. How could I sing? I didn't know how to stand up because I was so afraid of what other people might think of me. Yes. But then the Lord moved upon me. He opened my mouth when I prayed. He brought tears to my eyes. When you pray with such a broken heart, when you realize you don't have no one in your life to help you, when you realize that God is truly all you have, yeah, you, your heart can be so broken, but he will open your mouth yeah, and he yeah. will hear your prayer. Yeah. And I just want you to thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you,
Make it out if you can. <laughs> 